Thank you so much for joining us, Pine Belt. We're learning more tonight about the two juveniles uh, arrested in Hattiesburg yesterday by Hattiesburg police. Now, the two now face charges in Petal for a commercial burglary. WDAM7 spoke with Petal police today about the charges, and Trey Howard has that story for you tonight. Busting glass and stealing guns in a matter of minutes some of the teens you see on this surveillance video from three weeks ago are now behind bars after a week-long crime spree in other Pine Belt cities. We were able to make that connection with the assistance of several different agencies around the area to properly identify them with surveillance footage. Petal Police started investigating on October 6th when suspects broke into Lots of Gun and Pond on Central Avenue. Now, investigators identified a 13-year-old and a 17-year-old in this video and charged both after shots were fired near William Carey in Hattiesburg on Wednesday. Investigators say arrests came after the teens broke into a Laurel Pond shop and Lot's Gun and Pond and Pedal for a second time. Owner Bucky Lot did not want to go on camera, but he says he's had to spend thousands of dollars in repairs to secure his business. It's also on the mind of Pedal Muffler owner Richard Upshaw, just one street over. Some juveniles had throwed some rocks one through one of my back glasses back here. Had to go in here and repair the, the, the damage. And the cops actually called them a month or so later, talked to their parents. They come in and, and paid for the repair, and no charges was filed. And since then, I put some bars on my, my room, my building back here, trying to, to secure that. Pedal police say surveillance video has been helpful to investigators. It's very important to have that established relationships with other agencies, whether it be locally or state, to be able to help each other be informative on information. Business owners like Upshaw say operations aren't cheap, and it's owners and customers who end up as victims. Hopefully that won't happen again because it does cost the business money, and I'd have to pass that along to the customers, you know, to try to overcome some of that expense. In Petal, Trey Howard, WDAM7, on your side. Now, Pedal PD says current charges could be upgraded.